Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to Mud Hen Water. Thank or you. to Hawaii, I should say. Yeah, yeah, thank you, thank you. Hawaii has so many culinary influences based on immigration, but what would you say are the, the cornerstone of Hawaiian food before all of those influences? Yeah, Hawaiians had a really simple food, obviously fish. Center of the plate was taro. There's only three starches, there's no grains grown. Um, in Hawaii, so there's uala, which is sweet potato, ulu, which is breadfruit, which you had. The other yeah, day. which was wild to me. Yeah, and taro. Tonight we have the big event. Yes. I'm excited to cook side by side with you. Um, we're actually going to be cooking all day, but I thought we'd start out the day getting energized. There's a lot of things here I'm sure you've never had before, but then a lot of it may be familiar as well. So I'm into it. Nice. I guess we'll just start with this. What does that look like? Poke. Yeah. And poke is like you know transcended. Hawaii. Has it made the wave to North Carolina? Yes, and I'm afraid we're doing awful things to it, I'm sure. Well, pa pass me a chopstick. One chopstick or two? Two. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Give that a try and tell me what you think. Do I need to get some of this? Yeah, just try a little bit. <laughs> That's not poke. <laughs> yes. Those are beets. They're beets, very good. Wow, I was like, that so was really messing with my mind. <laughs> For the night before we opened, we have that hearth. On a practice run, we threw a bunch of beets on the embers. Came in the next morning and they were smoky, succulent, had no idea what we were gonna do with it. Cut them up into cubes and we said, God, that looks like tuna. It does, it looks like tuna and ends up being a really beautiful beet salad, I guess. Mm -hmm. And we got some smoked macadamia nuts, pickled limu, which is a, a native seaweed. Macadamia nuts are your nut here. They're actually invasive. Oh, they are? Yeah, they were brought in as an agricultural crop. Let's try this. You've had poi. Mm -hmm. It's kind of that bland paste. It's really hard for me to understand yeah. what it is. So it's, <laughs> it's the first food that I ever ate growing up as a kid. This is called pa'i. The taro has been pounded, but prior to adding enough water to become poi, it's what's called pa'i. So this is finger food. Okay. Mm. Mmm, that's good. Lots of times when people first have put, yeah, they say it's like mochi. So we decided to treat it like mochi. So this is like, we call this yaki mochi. And it's like Japanese street food where they grill mochi and then put it in the, in the nori with shoyu and sugar. There's something very smoky. Is that from grilling it? That's from grilling it and probably the, the seaweed or the, the nori. So this is a native food that we're treating kind of in a Japanese way. This, you've had a poached egg before. I have, we have those in the south. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But this is what I like you to try, this kind of green. What is it? Wow, that's... Doesn't really quite cook down. Mmm, that's good. But I have no idea what it is. So this is luau, which is the leafy part of the taro plant. This is, you'll find at most Hawaiian food restaurants, but it seems like everybody these days uses canned coconut milk. I went to Tahiti, and you would get thrown off the island if you even thought about using canned coconut milk. So we've started juicing coconuts every day. It's a pain in the butt. I guess. Yeah. yeah. Husking it, breaking it, grating it, juicing it, but it makes all the difference in the world in this finished oh, dish. Oh, it's got so. this like subtle, mellow, uh, coconut, but very green flavor. Yeah. I mean, and then this opa, which is moonfish. What I like about this fish is it's one of those other fishes that's a bycatch. There is no target fishery that goes out specifically for opa. They're going out for op, um, tuna or swordfish. In the past, they would throw it back, but now we actually can eat it, and it's so yummy and like fatty. And We have bycatch. Uh, situation in North Carolina too, and triggerfish is one. Do yeah. you have triggerfish? Uh -huh. That's one of the things that when we opened our restaurant 11 years ago, it was a trash fish, and no one would dream of serving it. And now it's like it's everyone sexy. appreciates it. Yeah. 